Alright my fellow degenerates, they were checking out the only subreddit where a teacher thinks that it's perfectly okay to put hyperbara art on a classroom presentation. It's r slash facepalm. More hyperbara art, damn it. If you're gonna ask me why I'm suddenly covering this subreddit, it's because I can't keep spamming for IRL. I gotta give more time for that place to accumulate more memes that I can react to. And the fact that constantly making videos on that particular subreddit is starting to leave a bad taste in my mouth. And it tastes like stale bread, self-loathing, and regret. So here we are now. Let's dive right in. Review anabolic steroids. Chemically similar to testosterone, the male naughty hormone accelerates muscle growth anabolic effects okay so for the most part i see nothing wrong with using furry hyperbara art on a class lesson that tackles anabolic steroids i find nothing wrong with that because anabolic steroids do give that kind of effect to the person that uses it my only gripe with this is the fact that the title of this lesson is written in freaking Comic Sans. I don't mind the hyperbara corgi that you used to illustrate this lesson, but of all the, the fonts you had to use, why you had to use Comic Sans, I wouldn't know. No one's gonna take this lesson seriously if you used Comic Sans anywhere in your lesson. We saw this mascot while hiking at Kelso yesterday. Does anyone know who he represents? My daughter was enamored and followed him for two kilometers. So I'm pretty sure that's a furry and not a mascot. <laughs> Google it. There is no face palm here. There is absolutely no face palm here. Okay, maybe the fact that the, the parent thought that this creature, this guy here, was um, a mascot for something and that he thinks that they think that uh, the, it represents a product or something but it's not and that's not a face bomb i think that's just the parent being a, well for lack of a word ignorant to the situation but that can be forgivable uh so that counts us out there's no face bomb here I mean, the child was happy, the person who was in the fursuit was hiking in a fursuit, I call that a win, and now the parent is gonna learn something new about the internet. I call this, I call every single moment in these, uh, in all of this, a win. No face swam here. Hit or miss, I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't yip ya. Yeah. He gon' find another guy and he won't yip ya. Yeah. He gon' skirt another head that did the <laughs> <laughs> I guess the face bomb here is the fact that it made me sing. It's this constant curse that I have to live with. That every time I do these videos and every time I see a post where it obligates me to sing, I have to f***ing sing it. And I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate the fact that I know how this entire thing flows. Like how in this entire song is just... just welded into my mind already and i hate that and i hate the fact that i can't get it out of my head people with animal names in their names are just furries agree w wait no ah ah blue wolf blue wolf we got you we got your ass in 4k you can't get out of this now we got you you're part of us now okay you are now a furry you may collect your bad dragon paraphernalia at the door <laughs> And in other news, Kenyan official says homosexual lions learned it from copying gay tourists. You've got to have a bit of respect for any tourists willing to bum it in front of a bunch of lions. Now, I've seen this post, uh, this particular screenshot of a newsreel uh, around before. And um, I think the only face palm here is the fact that why would they use this image? Just two lions bumming each other out. I mean... Whose idea was to get this up close and personal to a bunch of lions having the naughty times? The camera, the cameraman knew exactly what he was doing. I don't know what the hell he was doing, but he was doing it very, very well. And the fact that this uh, news site chose to uh, use this image and nothing else. I'm gonna have to censure this, okay? You're not gonna have this, you're not gonna see this. But uh, the fact that this news site had to use this image, uh, I, that's the only face bomb here. Ready to read. Daniel will a snack. And you guys wanna know what that snack is? It's me. I am the snack. 
You're the on- I'm the only kind of snack that you will ever need for the rest of your life. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't know where the hell that came from, but yeah. Couple having the naughties outdoors in goat costumes gets accidentally shot by hunters. <laughs> I should not have laughed at that. I should not have laughed at that. I am a terrible, terrible person. There is no doubt in my mind now that I am pretty much going to hell. And if you laughed while I was reading that, guess what? You're going to hell with me. I hope you bought suntan lotion but that's because that's the only thing that you're going to be needing while we're down there. Stop making fun of furries. I'm also 100% smarter than you. Oh really? How many chromosomes do you have then? Another than you. Oh my. <laughs> I just like to put a disclaimer that this guy who thinks that having more chromosomes makes you smarter does not represent the entire fandom as a whole. His opinion, or whatever the hell you can call this, is by his own thinking, by his own uh, judgment. He does not represent all of us. Please don't think that we all think like this. India Reynolds goes naked to promote veganism. PETA Read, brother, read! You can't convert people to vegans by showing naked women. PETA Screaming No. <laughs> you guys remember that um, one art way back last year where they showed um, an entire headless human being roasted and ready for Thanksgiving? And they put it, uh, put a caption that says, "What if you're the one who's getting stuff for Thanksgiving?" And the, the internet just ate that up. Just left and right, people are just just showing how horny they are, or how it would be amazing to eat a human being roasted to golden brown perfection. And that is all in the name of trolling PETA. Sometimes I, the internet just does amazing stuff like that and it gives me hope that the internet isn't as bad as we think it is. This one is gonna hurt the machos out there. Rule 6, political topic. Complaining about having to breathe through a mask is admitting that furries wearing fursuits are stronger than you. Think about it. I have always loved this kind of argument. We have like boomers and Karens out there complaining that they can't breathe through a tiny little piece of cloth that's trapped in their face. Ugh. Dude, I, I have known people to have gone hours, literal freaking hours on us in a suit that's just thicker than the cloth that you're supposed to cover your face with. And you know what the best part is? It's not mandatory. It's not mandatory for those people to wear those fursuits because they want to wear those, okay? No one is forcing them to do so, which means they enjoy what they do. They willingly do it and they survive, okay? Those suits are thicker than the piece of cloth that you're putting, that you're supposed to put in uh, over your mouth, over your face. If they can breathe through layers of cloth, you can breathe through just one layer of cloth that's just isolated on your face. You can do that. And that brings us to the end of our slash face bomb. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to join the official Discord server for my channel. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerates, Cook Boss 88 and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.